So I can tell that there are so many influences from shows like Criminal Minds and You that blend this mystique, mm -hmm. mysterious story that you both want to tell. What were some of the most important details from such shows and films that inspired that world building in Los Angeles that really helped you create this kind of story? Um, you know, there's been so many detective shows and, and movies and books. Uh, in some ways, it may be our most popular genre. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and so there, you know, there are tons of influences. Mark Partasevich, who is the creator of the show and, and writer of the early episodes, um, he is a real cinephile. He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of movies, and it fills. It's like his language. It's in his DNA. It it, it fills the show. Um, and then Fernando Morales, our director, uh, also has an encyclopedic knowledge of movies and a real love of film noir. So really, the influence is more from the 1950s sort of classic Hollywood film noir um, films uh, than it is from contemporary TV. I mean, we're what we're all trying to do is create something that we haven't seen on TV before uh, and combine that love for old Hollywood cinema with something new and fresh and radical and different. Um, and, and yeah, LA is a huge part of that and a huge character in the show. Uh, and it's not a place that we get to shoot in very often. And so we had an opportunity to really delve into corners of Los Angeles you haven't seen before, um, while also honoring sort of classic places that have been in some of these movies we all love. Especially with all of these new characters that you've created, like Ruby, Melanie Mackey, and the Seagulls, which characters would you say personally reflected yourself hmm. within hmm. this world that you were writing? I mean, honestly, I think it, my instinct is to say John Sugar. Um, and partly because I've lived in Los Angeles for most of my life. I lived here as a kid, then I went away in my 20s, and then I lived here working in this industry for 20 plus years. And I've never really felt like I totally belong. I've always felt like a little bit of an outsider. I think maybe as a writer, you always feel like a bit of a weirdo that doesn't fit in to the world because you're kind of living in your head. <clears throat> and so um, that aspect of Sugar I really relate to. And movies are a lens through which I see the world. My relationship to movies and characters in movies is as real as my relationship to real people. And that's another thing that's true for Sugar. So there's aspects of him that are unlike me, um, <laughs> but I think there are some fundamental mm -hmm. things about him that I relate to. Going back a little bit, because you, both you, Simon, both you, Simon and Audrey, with Invasion Season 3 also in development and given your collaboration here, which cast member from the show do you think would perfectly fit into that <laughs> world and how would you go about putting them in? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I, I would say any of the characters because both shows, while they are genre shows, um, are character-driven shows. They're really emotional, character-driven shows where we try to create nuanced, um, multidimensional characters. And so I do think there's an aspect of any of these characters because they are each so unique um, that could fit into Invasion. Um, there's aspects of John Sugar's character that would make him perfect for Invasion. Um, but I think that ultimately any of these characters um, could fit and it would be great because they're such extraordinary actors um, and we have some great actors obviously in Invasion as well. Definitely, and I also was speaking to Katie about this the other day. She really said that she wanted Carol Burnett to also fit into this world and I just really hmm. want to see what you guys were probably thinking about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would take Carol Burnett in any world. <laughs>